Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Renzo. Today I'm going to paint Mick Jagger. Okay. Uh, first, the colors I'm going to use are uh, titanium white, uh, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium red hue, alizarin crimson, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and ivory black. Okay, the brushes are hair brushes. And I have synthetic brushes too. Okay, let's start with the dome. Oh, I have gray here. This I got I got this gray just by mixing uh, titanium white and ivory black. Let me see my limit maybe here. Yeah, okay. Let's start with the drawing. Okay. Just thinking about the overall shape of the face. The center line. It's a little bit tilted to the left. The line for the eyes. I'm trying to visualize here this space. This small, let's say, kind of rectangle here. The eyebrows. A triangle here to the nose, the eyes, the nose. Okay, the mouth is around here. Now I'm going to see uh, some, let's say, some landmarks that aren't going to help me with the drawing. Like for for example, this. Now this, you can see this is kind of a square, kind of a square here. And inside a circle for for the mouth. I'm following this and this. The same here. You can see this, this kind of an oblique line. Okay, I think that would be enough for the drawing. Now let's paint. I'm going to mix a... Uh, remember always I start uh, something simple. I'm going to start with mixing an orange. And you can use blue, uh, ultramarine blue or ivory black. I prefer ivory black just to grade down this orange. Okay. Now I'm going to use another one for the shadows. That was too much black. Okay. 
So, I mean, those these colors are kind of, let's say, uh, I'm trying to get one color for the shadow, one color for the light. I'm pretty sure are not okay yet, but I need something to start to start out with something. And from the, from the, from those colors, I'm gonna start just building up, applying more colors. Okay. Now let me see. I'm, I'm going to squint my eyes and. What I see just is a shape here, another shape here. Okay, another shape here. And here. I'm still drawing with right now. Here and here. Okay. This and this. Now I'm gonna use this lighter color and I'm doing the same. I'm gonna still thinking about drawing. You can see this triangle here. I'm squinting my eyes, just following this. This shape here, the nose. using too much paint, no, it's, it's, it's not a moment yet. I'm planning to apply a lot of uh, paint to this portrait, but not at the beginning. Mixing yellow ochre and alizarin crimson. Make a darker, a darker color. Okay, again, I'm squinting my eyes again. I'm gonna try paint the eyebrows, the nose. color Hello, Joyce. Hello, Steve. Uh, my CH, Marianne, Cindy, Joan, Trevor, and Christine. Thank you for being here. Okay. Here, mixing black, a little and crimson, and yellow ochre. Oh, I think I gotta move my camera. The colors are okay. I think that's better.
So you can see that this side is almost like a vertical line and here is kind of tilted. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's make more details. I'm going to use these two brushes, synthetic brushes, numbers zero. Not too much paint. You can take paint and use a towel paper and just take the excess of the paint and draw with this. Okay, now here and just the first thing is I see this. Okay. Now it's here the same. Both eyes at, at the same time because I need to see this whole shape. I need to see the relationship between one eye with the other and with the nose. You can see the nostrils, it has like a B shape, something like this. And it's kind of a triangle here. Okay, 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 okay. And change into this uh, ha hairbrush. Squinting my eyes and just trying to see the shape of the teeth. Okay. Now again to this mixture, I'm gonna make it more darker. Mixing a little green zone, yellow ochre touch of black. Okay, again, okay, I need, I need this to be a little bit darker. Hello, Maggie. Hello, hello, Stephen. Okay. Hello, Jaime. Okay, 
now I think I can start just applying more paint. It's kind of I see the uh, the proportions. Uh, always pay attention to the triangle here in the middle of the face because here is you ha we have usually the uh, let's say ninety percent of the information about the face. If this is okay, uh, this I mean we can move this a little bit up or down. That's gonna be okay. We gotta move a little bit up and down. Yeah, speaking just about that, I'm going to move the mouth a little bit up. Okay. Now, let's apply more paint. I'm not using any in any medium. Sometimes I use lincid oh, lincid oil and turpentine. Okay, let's see if this color is okay. No more red. More white. You know, uh, if you work like uh, I'm doing right now, if you look for this image, by the way, the, uh, there's a link in the description box. Uh, you're gonna look for this image everywhere. You're not gonna find uh, a color version. That's the only one, it's a black and white image, which is perfect to try to, to work with color because the idea about this is just to have something that you can repeat, repeat, and not thinking about the color of the subject. It's gonna be just about a, a, a recipe, something that you can use anytime. You can just turn this to the yellow side or to the red side, okay? You just grade down this with a little bit of blue or a little bit of black. It's up to you. You can make it more saturated, more vivid, or more gray, or gray down the color. Right now, this color is kind of too yellowish. Let me try this one. I think it's too pale. I mean, let's see. I mean, it's just the beginning. This is going to be a long process of adjusting colors, adjusting just the feature of the face, and the most important, adjust values. I think this color is better. Let's see if this works okay or not. I mean, there's something, I need to move something to block the light from here just to soften the light in here. Okay, I think this color is going to be better. better. Yeah. Now, let's make another version, another volume. Oh, and using uh, Winton, by the way. Oh, okay, hello, Noel Carlton. Uh, he's telling me that the distance maybe between the nose and the upper lip is too far. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> don't worry. 
Don't worry. I mean, I, 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 uh, this is like the beginning. I'm gonna move this a little bit. I need to. I mean, for me, I need to see more every time that I see more of the face. I'm able to move a little bit, a little bit the nose, the mouth, everything, until uh, until I find. The, I mean, the not let's say the right position. I mean, it's not like 100% perfect, but let's say the right position. That's what I'm trying to do. But I need to see more. It's like making a sculpture. If you don't see more, you're not able just to make corrections. Okay. Uh, the beginning was different. Like, uh, let, let's say that I started just by tracing the drawing. That would be different. Yes, because I wouldn't be worried about the position of the features. I just be worried about color and value, and just to keep the position of the eyes, the nose, just there. Just be very careful because even when we start with a, a, a really accurate drawing, usually we lost the, the drawing uh, in the process of painting because. The painting is kind of a living thing that it moves. It moved and then it moved um, uh, the eyes and nose a little bit, a little bit, and then we start just having problems. Let me see, this color is not okay. I'm gonna add more of a design green zone, white. I'm mixing this into this color here that it has black. That's okay. Hello, Cornelia. Hello, Lori. Hello, Carlton. If I apply a, a lot of impasto, I'm not gonna go with that thickness to the border of the face, to the contour. Uh, usually it's gonna be just in the center, the center of the face because I want the borders just to, let's say, to reset. And because of the texture of thickest oil paint, uh, I want just the center, the, let's say the nose and the lips just to pop up. Okay. But you know, it's not gonna be just like this. I mean, this is just <laughs> a plain sort of shadow. It's gonna have some thickness, but not like, like this, okay? I'm just squinting my eyes still and just trying to see the shape of all this, the light. You can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay. 
I think the mouth, I'm going to move the mouth a little bit up. I think, I mean, usually when I see that something, I feel like I got I to gotta fix this. It's just like before I take a note about that. I don't make the change right away. It's not like, a, oh my God, the mouth is too, I mean, a little down. And I, I don't move the mouth up, just just like a, uh, just like I was something like I gotta fix this so fast. No, just leave it there and continue working. And I, I continue to see if I gotta move the mouth sometimes. Sometimes it's like maybe you gotta say 50% of the times is about values. When you see the face, sometimes you see, you think, oh, the width is not okay. It's, uh, I mean, it should be narrow. It's not about that. It's maybe that it needs more shadow or it needs to be lighter. Do what I usually do is just let's say uh, define the reddish part of the face. It will be always here, here, the nose, the chin, the upper and the lower eyelid. Let's look where where can we put some greens. I'm gonna mix this, mix this gray. Definitely here. You can make this so subtle or so not as I mean, it's up to you. Just like uh, the half of the nose, this up, upper portion, let's say the half, this half is more greenish, grayish. Okay, and this, this middle of the nose, this half is more reddish. Because of the anatomy, I mean, here's the bone, and there's no bone here. It just, uh, what's the word? I don't know if I'm going to pronounce it okay. Cartilage, cartilage. I hope you understand me. Okay. This right now looks like a clown, <laughs> but anyway, that's just the beginning. Let's draw again the eyes.
I'm going to clean the eyebrows just to make them darker. Continue drawing, making more details. The pupil here, the pupil here. Let's see this angle, and this angle here, and this, and this. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Using a fan brush, just to kind of let's say erase this. I need to see more. Or I need to squint, squint my eyes, just see the for forms. So just shapes and, and forms there. In order just to let's say to draw. The, the mouth. Yeah, but that, something like this is what happens when we squint our eyes. Yes? 
And usually when we screen the eyes, you see, we screen to see this image. But let's say I'm trying to do the same here with both images. And blurring this is just, I don't need even, even to screen my eyes just to see this. I screen my eyes to see here. Okay. And compare, compare the shape. Can you see? And let me show you what I see here. I see something like this. And immediately I see this. In this way, I'm thinking just about this shape. Okay. And then I can think about this shape. And then at the same time, here's the whole mouth. mouth. Okay. It's like basically, I think like maybe ninety nine percent of painters just think the same way. We think the same way uh, because it's it's just about the the instruction that we had. Is one part, one important part about uh, the exercise that I did when I was a student. It was painting and drawing these uh, sculptures that was made of so many planes. I don't remember the name. I mean, I, I have mentioned this before, but so sorry that I was thinking to look for the name. The name of these sculptures, I, I, I keep forgetting just to look for, for that. But that, uh, doing that exercises, it just, uh, it's just, like it's like a hard training about just making these angles, angles, angles everywhere, all the time. Okay, and that's something that I mean, we all we all used to do that. We used to do that all the time. That's a, that's like a must, and uh, when it comes to practice drawing, before practice and drawing a person. This is like the idea. Just you're gonna see just angles. That's it angles and you're gonna paint this sculpture just to see angles and I remember because I mean that was so clear and for how for uh how long is like uh, the, I don't remember the exact paper it's almost uh let's say six months just drawing and painting these sculptures and after doing that you just <laughs> finished and you just see everything just looking for these angles, angles, angles. Okay, now the distance here. Okay, it's okay. Let's continue. Just, I'm going to change to my round synthetic brushes. Just apply more paint. And continue with the drawing process as, and pa the painting process. Thank you. 
going to move this. I'm just going to space here for making a greenish version of this color. Too green. Okay, who cares? Let's see if that works here. It was too much blue. Okay, I'm going to blend the paint little bit Using this synthetic brush number two, you can see the name here, and this is a round brush. But you know that I, I use all the round brushes when they are all, all almost ruined, when the uh, the hair is all, all sprayed out. So they are perfect for blending.
and using pure black. Hello, thank you, Marianne. Hello, Marilu. Oh, Black Angel. Thank you. Good night, Black Angel. Dime. Terminando.
Okay. I uh, I changed the nose a little bit. You know that uh, because of the process, this is a La Prima painting, and sometimes, sometimes I just have to, let's say, erase something and do it again. Yeah, because of the process, okay? Because, I mean, when I make a mistake with uh, value and I'm trying just to, let's say, move, uh, make it more lighter or darker, that's really difficult when you have uh, too much paint. Oh, what happened here? I think I moved this with my finger. And when you, you have too much paint, it's difficult just to light up or darken any color, any value. And the only way for me is just to clean out that portion, that section that I'm planning just to change and apply new a new paint on top of that.
I think I need to reduce his eyes. Oh, yes, I think I'll. I'm okay. not so sure, but I feel like uh, maybe I have painted, I make them bigger than they are. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Doing this, this with my fingers, just like flat the brush. Okay, and sometimes I just want the, the brush just to be with the hair just like this, like this, in this way I kind of leave some, let's say, marks, small marks.
Thank you, Joyce. Hello, Tisha. Okay, thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Stephen. No, right now it's just uh, it's going to be a long process about adjusting values. Everywhere I gotta look everywhere. Those lights and shadows. Okay, I apply more in thick paint here, but not here. It's the same, uh, like I said, all around the face. It doesn't have too much paint. It has just uh, more paint in the middle. Because the idea is just trying to create a dilution of uh, volume using the oil paint. And at the same time, of, of course, uh, Trying to get the values right. But what we always need to be careful is just to keep the difference, okay, between shadows and lights, because when we start just adding more more paint and more paint, sometimes we lost that, and the painting starts just to look flat, because our shadows are not dark enough, and our lights are not light and light in. Uh, clear enough. And that's, that, that's usually, I mean, is that usually happens to me all the time. You can see here, I just I lost this, it has, it has to be darker. And I think I have it, I had it this darker. I don't know at what moment I just, I lost that. And just like that, we don't know, we just paint, paint, we are enjoying the process of painting, but I mean, painting.
painting a portrait has to be just like that. We got, we got to be very, very focused about these subtle changes. I mean, I, I add some some uh, light here, and kind of I lost the shadow. I'm gonna go back and put it back again. I don't know if you can see this value is no right. I'm gonna go dark again. And the problem with this is usually, um, I mean, for me, the shadows are, let's say that the difficult ones, we can put this lights like a lot, a lot, a, a lot of them. We don't care about that. Once we know that that's his light, I can go with all the painting and just create just like, I don't know, type of a Rembrandt painting with a lot of paint, but the problem is in the shadows, with shadows and we gotta be careful first. Uh, the, the, the first idea is just to reset that part of the face, but at the same time, it's about control. It's kind of difficult to control the darker colors. Okay, and that's maybe the ones that we maybe mani manipulate the most because that's the one that we make more, more changes. We adjust and make it then darker or lighter. And like I said, and usually we lost them. And what start with uh, uh, the painting with a really, let's say a really clear separa separation between light and, and shadow, at the end, we lost that. Adding some um, gray and down this color because I don't want this just to come up, to stand up. I, just, I want this. Okay, one another thing that I just wanted to stand up, just pop up like a lot, was his mouth. That's why I think kind of I exaggerated maybe the color. Maybe it's too reddish, but my, uh, let's see what happens. I mean, right now I like this color. Uh, but sometimes I just start just thinking about that and then I can start just this red. It's like it's starting just to get more vivid and vivid. And I said, okay, it's time, it's time to tone down the color. But right now I feel like uh, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I think it's working. But I mean, in my head is kind of working and by experience, I know that I could change my mind at any time.
Okay. Uh, another thing that I like uh, is the impasto because um, I wouldn't do this if I was painting a a, a woman. This guy, uh, he's old, and if you apply more paint and more paint, nothing is gonna happen. I mean, at the end, it's gonna. Uh, I mean, this texture that creates the impasto is gonna work at, uh, for me, like uh, creating the illusion of maybe details or that his skin is kind of old. And that's why I can go like on top of this, like a lot more and more and more. All this for me creates that effect. And from the distance I can see his face, like, I can see like a lot of wrinkles without making any wrinkles. Okay. Now, if you have seen my other videos that I have painted, who maybe make an example? I mean, Eva Green, with the painting is very soft. With this amount of paint, I could paint maybe like 10 paintings like the one that I. Uh, I, I painted uh, Eva, Eva Green. Uh, yes, and that's something that we could take advantage of that, the texture of the paint. Yes, and you can see you can see that I don't apply a lot of paint on the on on the scar. I don't want to. I want to be careful here. When you see the painting, you feel like it's a lot of paint everywhere. It's not like that. Now I need to zoom, zoom in the image in my screen to see details. He has something in one of his tooth, teeth, I don't know how to say. But he has something like uh, here, uh, uh, oh sorry, here, I don't know, I'm watching the big, um, the big image. Yeah, you know, if you can, you can, uh, if you don't know the image, you want to know what, what I'm talking about. It looks like something, I don't know what it is, I mean, it's like an, a pier piercing inside the mouth. Yeah, maybe. Okay, now I'm going to Okay, I have noticed that I, can, I have to move this light a little bit down. Okay. 
Now I was working on, oh God, look this. Oh, it's a diamond in his tooth. Oh my God. I gotta paint it. I have to. <laughs> Hello, uh, well, thank you, Susan Nan. Hello, Quran. There were. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I'm uh, uh, going to paint this. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just gonna make just like a highlight. Yes. People that know him, are gonna know immediately that this is the diamond. By the way, I mean, I'm gonna open a Epsi store to put this, all these paintings, some of them for sale. Thinking and thinking. We need more light here.
I have to flat the brush and then I blend. We're running out of double paper. Oh my god. Thank you, Morujita. Hello, Terry. Yes, exactly. A lot of expression. Oh, think okay, thank you, Trevor. Good night. Good night, Liverpool. I think it's maybe uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I'm, 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 I was thinking about the time in Liverpool.
Okay, 1 a.m. in Liverpool. Okay. Thank you, Stephen. Okay. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. You have yes, like seven hours or six hours to sleep. Okay, anyway, I, I really appreciate that you have if you're here watching me painting. And zooming in the image to see details.
okay, Terry. Uh, no, I'm just working. Uh, just uh, just by mixing the colors. I mean, uh, if you look for the image, there is a link in the description. The description box, there is a link to the image. If you look for the image everywhere, I mean, I, 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 had, lo I had looked for the image everywhere. I couldn't find the, the color version. And I'm just doing what I do in every video. The same beginning, like with an, or an orange. And just from there, just start just building up value and making the variation of this the skin color. This is a really good exercise, just painting from a black and white image. In my screen, I have the same image, just bigger to see the tables. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's blonde. Yes, he's blonde. Uh, but I'm, I don't know. I just want to keep uh, the hair, the hair just dark, and the eyebrows because just to I don't know. It, it's, it just it feels better. It has more. It feels more strong, more powerful. If I put his hair blonde, I don't know it's kind of it's gonna lose contrast. Oh, yes, Steven, his hair is dark brown, brown, nearly black. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it was just the, the, because of the, the photo. So he has blue eyes or, or not? Because I have seen other images because I was looking for, for, for his, I mean, I saw one image that he has like a brown color and blue eyes. Speaking about the eyes, I'm gonna put more more blue to make more make them more transparent and more visible. Oh my god, that's too much blue, I think.
noche. She has blue eyes, dark brown hair. My two brushes, they are just dying. They are green. They are, they are losing shape so fast. Maybe in one week or two weeks, they are half lost shape too much. I need to use, start using a new ones just to get to a stage where I can use them for blending. Give me a minute, please. I'm going to take a photo. And I, and I do what I always do is uh, just to take out the color from this and compare with my canvas is kind of uh, photo and what I do is I exaggerate the, the contrast like, just like using a, a black mirror and to see where I need to I mean definitely now that I see this image I gotta light up uh, his teeth and at the same time here we need some more light here. A little bit. I can see kind of I have lost this shape. It's like a triangle here. Yes, now the teeth. Okay. Mm. I don't, I don't think, but maybe a little bit, maybe, maybe. A little bit lighter.
Okay, Steven, are you on Instagram? Yes, I have. With my name, Lorenzo Castaneda. All together. Herbs. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, okay, did it in purpose. Just to create contrast here. Maybe it's too dark. Yes, I mean. But I did it uh, in purpose. Let me see. Okay, uh, I don't want to throw away this. I want to just use this paint. Instead of throwing away this paint, I'm gonna put it just, just there. Herbs. Now you made me think about the darkness of this. Oh my God. Okay, let me let me see what I'm going to do. Let me first let me use just this paint because I don't want to just throw away. And
Oh, Joyce. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Okay, what else? What else I need to fix? Maybe this shadow is too dark with the well, a little bit of red, pink. Yeah, maybe that's better. And blend this a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, I thought that uh, I was going to paint, to finish the painting today, but I couldn't because it's still not, it's not like dry, dry, completely dry. And, and uh, I think tomorrow is going to be okay. Yes, I think tomorrow I'm going to finish the painting. Chrysalida, he used the leftover painting on the canvas. Sometimes I use this, the white uh, ochre, but these ones, I don't use these ones. Because every painting has different values and I, I haven't uh, like find, let's say uh, the right, or oh, another painting that where you use, I need the same colors. Maybe, but I, I didn't even just try to look for for that. Trying to looking for last retouches. Last return to here and there. Oh, to, to turn the canvas. Uh, no, I prefer to turn the canvas with acrylic. Then I, I, I already have like a prepared like a, for a lot of canvases. But let's say that I, I didn't have prepared and uh, just, yeah, it could be, yes, it could be. Why not mix all of this together and just apply it uh, to, to a white canvas? Yeah, yes, that would be perfect. Okay, I think that's, that's it. Oh, like the shadow, you're okay. Herbs, you made me think about the shadow. Man, uh, now I, I gotta exchange it.
<laughs> I see something. It needs more shadow here. Yes. Okay, I haven't do I haven't uh, lose the greens. You can see some greens here, here, yes, and uh, some reddish here. I mean, I kind of I lost some reddish. I, I would have just loved to put more, maybe some pinky, more pinky colors. But anyway, I'm happy with the result. And this is a great exercise. Try always that painting from a black and white image. Okay, you remember just to start simple. Okay. I'm just thinking about the edges. Usually it's the contour of the face because here you can, you can be really sharp on the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And especially in this face that is has like a lot of uh, expression in, on his face. Okay, I think that's it. I don't know what is to do. I still it's dark, but um, maybe a little bit more. Maybe just a touch of. Okay, where's the brush? Okay, so I'm gonna just this brush. It's kind of brown, but I think in the computer, in the screen, you will still see like black blackness. I mean, for me, it's now it's kind of a really dark brown. Oh, thank you, Parashuram. Harvey Dean, good morning. Thank you. Oh, that's really good, Stephen. Tisha, thank you. 
Ok, sinta assim, né? Eu te vejo nesse horário no qual eu estudo. E eu sei que eu ainda estou procurando mais coisas para corrigir, e eu ainda vou encontrar mais valores para mudar e tudo isso. Mas, a certo ponto, nós vamos parar isso e depois... Eu estou pensando que não há mais, como eles dizem, vamos assumir que não há um erro maior. Ok, deixe-me acreditar que isso. Isso significa que... Ok, ok, talvez mais escuro aqui. Okay, that's it, I think. Um, okay, la, 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 la. Oh, let me check out for the last time. Maybe I got a soft and I was thinking about this, this wrinkles here. I made it very noticeable and I don't see it like that here. I was thinking about that. Let me just soften. Okay, this one is too dark too. Okay. Thank you so much. See you next time. That's it. Okay, I will try to make a video about preparation. About how you prepare your surface. What do you mean? I mean, prepare like the canvas? Or... Okay, I will try to, to, to be honest, it's kind of uh, just boring to do a video about that. Sorry, but I, I will try, okay? I just I prefer just make the videos about painting. Okay, what well, is uh thank you, Parchuran Terry. When we have light, you know, this is always a hard line or a soft line. I mean it should be better a uh, soft line. Okay, the canvas, okay. Okay, I will try. Sorry, Harvinder, Harvinder. See, I can promise, I cannot promise. I will try to make a video for the canvas. I cannot promise that I will, but I will try. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, thank you so much. I gotta stop because, okay, okay. one more thing, one more thing.
Which is it? Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Take care.